in today's episode let's look into 10 secrets and tips on growing money plant or the pothos varieties whether in soil or in water propagating money plants and how to get large size leaves and a bushy money plant coming up Money plant or pothos, botanically called Epipremnum aureum, is basically a vine and the most common plant found in home gardens and grown indoors in water container. It is called money plant because it is believed to bring prosperity and a good fortune to you. Well, superstitions apart, but this is one of the NASA recommended air purifying plant. It has many common names like the golden pothos, Ceylon creeper, hunter's robe, ivy arum, silver wine, marble coin tarot wine, devil's wine or devil's ivy and so on. Now, let's split this episode into various chapters like types or varieties of money plant, propagation of money plant from cuttings, getting bigger size leaves, getting a bushy money plant and so on. You can skip to any of the chapter or topic by clicking on the timestamps given in the description below. Let's start with the types or species of money plants or similar plants. Golden money plant or the golden pothos. It has bright green leaves with golden or yellow splashes. Split leaf money plant or Monstera deliciosa. This is a low light indoor plant and similar to Philodendron broken heart plant with beautiful design of notches within the leaf. Marble queen money plant. The leaves are creamy white in color, so less green and less chlorophyll and hence this needs more exposure to sunlight for proper photosynthesis. Then Marble Prince money plant. This has distinct white and green colors on the leaves. Silver money plant or satin pothos. Then Swiss cheese money plant or Monstera oblica. Chinese money plant. Jade money plant with dark green heart shaped leaves. Then neon money plant. Then other similar plants but from different families include English ivy, plain and variegated. Then various types of phyllodendrons. Let's first begin with propagation of money plants. This we are discussing first because most of us do not purchase these from nursery or a garden center. But instead, you get a small cutting of a money plant and try to grow at home either in water or in soil containers. Now let's learn some simple tricks to multiply your pothos easily. There are many methods of rooting money plant cuttings. One guaranteed method is soil layering. You just insert one or two nodes of a branch into the soil, mostly into a small pot. Within two weeks, you should start seeing the roots and you can then cut off this from the mother plant and grow this as an independent plant either in water or in soil. You can also successfully grow its cuttings but the most important point to remember is planting the node into the soil and not just the stem without a node. Many gardeners show money plant can be grown from a single leaf but this will be successful only if a node is included along with the leaf. Another simple hack to use for faster rooting, especially if you're rooting in water, is to use a quarter or half a tablet of aspirin 350 mg disposable tablet every time you change water. You can check my detailed episode on aspirin and its benefits in gardening from a link in the description below. Now, let's look into some important care tips and tricks to grow money plant. These are slightly different if you're growing them in soil versus growing them in water indoors. Let's first quickly discuss on care of money plant in soil, like tricks on how to make the leaves bigger and how to get a bushier money plant. Also remember that they grow faster and better in soil than in water. Firstly, season. Money plant can be grown in any season or any time of the year. Then sunlight requirement. Money plant can be grown in direct sunlight as well as indirect sunlight and even indoors in your home lighting. Though too much direct sunlight can burn the leaf edges, you need to remember this simple concept for any plant. The green color is imparted to the leaf by a pigment called chlorophyll which is essential for photosynthesis or plant food preparation in simple terms for proper growth of the plant. If there is lesser green pigment on the leaves like in marble queen variety or any variegated varieties, then more amount of exposure to sunlight is needed and vice versa. The best place to keep them is under a 50% shade net. They grow faster and healthier under these sun conditions. If you grow them indoors in containers, make sure you keep at the brightest spots, like near entrances or near windows to get the bright light. Then water requirement. Money plant likes a lot of water, but at the same time it's a drought tolerant plant and can live without water for many days. Watering daily or alternate days is sufficient. 
Make sure you water deeply and thoroughly and also check the patency of the drainage holes in containers to avoid water stagnation and root rot. Less frequent watering can result in burning or browning of tips and edges. Overwatering can result in leaf yellowing and stunted growth. Then the soil mix. If you provide a loose, well-draining soil to money plant, the roots grow faster and hence the plant grows faster and healthier. You can mix some stuff like cocoa peat or peat moss, sand, perlite, vermiculite or whatever you can along with some 20% compost like cow dung or the vermi compost to about 50% garden soil. This forms the best potting mix for money plant. Then about repotting money plant, this is only required when you have chosen a small container to grow money plant and the plant roots have bound to the container. And also if there is stunted growth and leaf yellowing, it's time to repot into a larger container. Then fertilizers. Money plants require a very less amount of fertilizers and most of the nutrients are already found in the potting mix and they should be sufficient for about 3 to 6 months. Because we grow money plant for its leaves, a handful of nitrogen rich fertilizer like the decomposed cow dung or vermi compost once every 3 months is more than sufficient for one standard container of money plant. Avoid using chemical fertilizers like urea or the NPK as they can cause fertilizer burns due to overdosage. To get lush and large size leaves, you can additionally foliar feed or foliar spray it with Epsom salt solution like 1 teaspoon of Epsom salt in 1 litre of water and spray over the leaves once in about 10 days. Then pests and disease. Money plant is one of the top 5 pest resistant plants. So spraying a pesticide is optional. You can spray neem oil monthly once in a low dose of about 5 ml per litre of water. But some diseases like fungal root rot can rarely kill money plant. This happens mainly due to overwatering. Now, the most important part of this episode, how to get big size leaves in money plant. Money plants have aerial roots which are adventitious roots which are mainly designed for clinging and climbing onto surfaces like trees, rocks and other structures we artificially provide like the moss sticks, choir sticks, trellis and so on. The concept is these aerial roots also absorb some moisture and nutrients as well. So taking this advantage, we have to follow these two simple tricks and hacks to get big size leaves and lush, bushy, fast growing money plant. No doubt the size of the leaves also depend on the type of money plant and its genetic makeup. The first trick to apply is use a climber stick like coco coir stick or a moss stick or your own DIY gunny bag pole stick or a coco coir stick. This is to anchor the aerial roots. The best one is a moss stick, which is made up of sphagnum peat moss. You can easily anchor the aerial roots into the moss and tie it up to hold it in place. Make sure whenever you water your money plant, you water the moss stick as well. Liquid fertilizer like compost tea poured onto the moss stick also gives great results. The second trick is, when it grows one round to the top of the pole, you make it downwards and then when it reaches the soil, you do soil layering or take a dip of one or two nodes into the same container and then take it upwards. This helps in development of multiple root system that supports a short segment or a certain length of the money plant and helps in a very steady and faster growth. Now, lastly, some quick points to remember while growing money plant in water indoors. If you start from a cutting, choose a healthy cutting of about one foot long and it must have at least three or four nodes in it. Insert at least two nodes into a clean container preferably a glass bottle. Avoid using plastic bottles. The narrow-necked bottles are better as it provides more humidity around the main stem. Use clean water to grow money plants and change the water once every 10 days for best results. Keep it in a bright location in your home, like near a window. And it does not require fertilizers when grown in water. So there you have it. Please like, share and comment below with your feedback and queries. Happy gardening!